India Moore, welcome to the Daily Social Distancing Show. <laughs> Did you say the Daily Social Distancing Show? I, I did indeed. We're in the last. We're in the last phases of social distancing now. You know, that's that's what this show became. And then now we're getting ready to slowly go back to normal life. But until then, we're still socially distanced. We just need everybody vaccinated, and then we can get back to normal life. So welcome to the show. Thank you. <laughs> um, let's talk a little bit about your journey. It really is an honor to have you here because normally when I see you, you're on the cover of a magazine or you're in the Time 100 or you're on one of the most um, widely, you know, just like loved and, and critically acclaimed shows, which is Pose. Um, I should also say Happy Pride Month as well. You know, the world has been going through a particularly terrible time uh, over the past year and a half as things are slowly starting to see a little bit of normalcy. Is there anything special you're doing to celebrate Pride Month? Um, I think myself, like, I'm putting more energy and, like, time and labor into uplifting and centering myself and my health and my joy. And I think um, that's a really beautiful way to celebrate Pride Month, considering um, I think for so long, Pride Month has been like, I don't know, like a time where everyone, like where I'm like, you know, asked for a lot or like, you know, there are things that are requested. Right, right, right. So it's, it like feels really good to take time out to like show up for me and give myself attention and love and all those nice things, especially since fin finishing pose, like it was a really beautiful, long, um, and really strong journey. So I think like resting is really healthy for me right now. It, it, it is healthy and it is also well-deserved. You know, Pose is one of those shows that comes around once in, in a blue moon. You know, very seldom do you see shows that, that, that not only, I think, speak to a topic that isn't widely spoken about on television, but also in an authentic way, in a heartfelt way, in a funny way, in a... It's just, it's just an everything show that people, people really gravitated towards for a reason. As somebody who saw the show progress throughout the seasons, did you see it getting as big as it got? I don't know. I think, like, my entire experience navigating life as a trans person always feels like a, a wild card. Mm. You know? how people are gonna, you know, like, react to you, um, you know, when, when they come to find that, you know, there's a trans presence and that that presence is you. I've seen so many reactions that have been uplifting and scary. Um, and so, like, that's really what I thought, you know, like, what, that's kind of what it, what I thought, you know, like, I'm always worried for the negativity or, like, the interesting, negative. Interesting, interesting. But I was welcoming and open and excited for, um, you know, like welcoming and excited responses to our story, our, our show and our stories. Do, do you think a lot of that might have come from the way you have lived your life or the way you've been forced to live your life? It's easy for people to see you now as the star of a hit television show or doing a campaign with Tommy Hilfiger. And we'll talk about that in a little bit. But but you had a really hard journey, you know, uh, you know, you you. You were homeless for a period, you know. You 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 had to leave your home because your own family was transphobic, and they couldn't they couldn't handle you coming out as queer. Let's let's talk a little bit about the journey that you've been on, and a what what you've learned from it. I mean, not not that you had anything wrong, but what you've learned from it, and then also what you hope others could learn from your journey, both parents and then I think children. Yeah, I mean, so, yeah, like, I think you um, acknowledged a really, you know, interesting point about, like, how, you know, people are seen once they have fame and celebrity. The whole point of me visibilizing my story was just so people can see themselves in it. I wanted people to be able to see themselves, you know, um, through my experiences, and I wanted my, my experiences and my journey as a person marginalized intersectionally um, to be lessons for other people. I just wanna like always be mindful in how I take up public space in that way. Um, but I, I'm always hoping for my experiences and when I share them, um, you know, to be reflective for other people, for parents to see themselves and the stories that I tell right, right, about right. how, you know, and 
hopefully they'll you know shift their their ideas about how they believe they should raise their children and how the way that they raise their children can cause harm you know like when they're trans or queer particularly and so like you know for trans and queer people to also feel seen and like you know just because i entered the public space and in, in um such a westernized way i want my community to um to just for those that are, are struggling and that live closely to the experiences that I had, to know that like is deeper than that and um, that their lives are valid no matter or not if they become famous out of their troubles, they can create a purpose for themselves and not have to wait for one, you know, or wait to discover it, you know, like, and so the all, you know, that's how I, I use my history and experiences to contribute if wherever I can. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I, I hear what you're saying. And I think you do a great job of it. You are also really blazing a trail in the fashion industry. And although Pose has come to an end, there's obviously going to be so many things that you're going to get to do going forward. One of the newest projects you've embarked on involves um, a collaboration with Tommy Hilfiger. Tell me a little bit about that, why it came about, and why you felt like this was going to be the right partnership for you to tell a story through. They um, were, were interested in me leading a, um, a campaign and then a, a fashion project, you know, that was more personal. Mm -hmm. And that was beautiful. Like, of course, like, if, why wouldn't I, you know, like, um, um, take something to create with such a prestigious fashion brand and then also to have the autonomy and the space to create things. Um, from my lens and then, you know, from my vision. Um, and so, like, I'm really excited for um, this collaboration to continue to roll out. I tried as much as I can um, to uh, create um, a line or, like, a, um, a colla a, for my collaboration to be as inclusive as possible to right. as many bodies and body types as possible um, and I you know there was a lot of fighting for that and um, there is so much uncomfortableness and um, you know tension and, and learning and um, you know but I'm just really happy um, to know that they were willing to go there with me to adjust and change the metric you know yeah it's uh, it's wonderful to see when you look at a show like Pose and when you look at your journey in the media, obviously you're, you're doing it for yourself as a human being, which I think is important, but there's an undeniable element of it that is you being a role model, you being somebody that people look up to, you just by your very existence making a statement. I would love to know how you deal with the pressure of that. Uh, I, don't, I don't know. Like, I think it's really nice to have um, the the gratification people have given me and to, you know, experience that and um, to be loved by the by so many people. Um, I'm also 26 years old. I'm also, you know, just a few years removed from the experiences and stories that I'm telling on Pose. And I'm so like, you know, like immediately when you become, like, popular for your art, you immediately become, like, I don't know, people, like, there's, like, I think especially if, if there's, like, if you are a, a group that doesn't have a lot of representation. Right. You're also, like, really opinionated or, like, really thoughtful in, in how you express yourself publicly and have, you know, whatever. I think people start to see you as, um, in a, um, within the spectrum of leadership. But right, I don't right, think right, right. like that about myself necessarily um i'm still learning in fact i'm looking for my elders i'm trying to figure out who my elders are right, who can i learn from who's close to me that you know um you know can help me you know get in um you know like i i'm like still trying to heal from so much and mm -hmm. also working in a highly demanding industry that demands so much visibility around on me and who I am and I'm you know I'm stealing from a lot and working through so much and trying to get it right you know for me and my people thank you for sharing the journey with us thank you for being fantastic and uh, congratulations on everything you've done and everything you're going to go on and do India Moore take care
you, Trevor. Thank you, Trevor Noah. You too.